Paradise Garage and LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, if you guys can give me some quick feedback and let me know if you guys can hear and see me. Uh, and also, another thing is, if you're a Learn Auto Body and Paint VIP member, let us know that you are a VIP member. Um, and where you guys are tuning in from, let me know. What's up? And can you see uh, the screen and audio? Let me know. Just type in the chat. Looks like we got um, Robzilla said we live. What's up, Tony? Pomona, California. Toledo, Ohio. What's up, guys? How you guys doing? Hope you're doing well. Uh, coming to you from the farm on the beautiful island of Oahu, North Shore. There's the bus. Um, Command Central right there. I don't think I ever showed you guys my, well, I have two of these things. I'm trying to sell. I'm gonna, I want to sell one of them. Um, the classic old GoPed. This one's brand new. It's the Bigfoot. It has big pneumatic air tires and chain, chain driven. Cute little thing here. Um, and here's one of the tanks that I painted. I kind of want to do something different, like add to it, some striping and whatnot. But uh, what's up, Brad? What's up, Brian Phillip? What's up? Um, type in the chat, guys, where are you guys are tuning in from. If you guys have any auto body questions, this is your time to ask me. Um, any questions you got on auto body, I'm here to help guide you. And uh, here's the farm. And we got Eddie's actually doing some planting right now. It's the bus. We got uh, a little pool thing here. Do it, you know, moving things around and just chilling. Beautiful day today. Beautiful, beautiful day. Um, so yeah, whatever you guys want to talk about. Trinidad, how's it? Big Island here, bro. What's up, Shaka Ripa? What's up? Big Island's in the house. So we're just chilling today. Um, answering your specific auto body Q and A's. <clears throat> All right. So you got questions. Let me know. Um, any kind of projects you guys are working on, let us know whatever you want to talk about. We can talk about Robzilla says, how is the cost of living where you are compared to where you came from? Uh, which I think was Texas. Um, cost of living has always been higher in Hawaii. I mean, everything has to be shipped here. Everything is just very, very expensive here. Um, and, you know, we knew that. I knew that coming back. You pay, you know, to, to live in paradise. Um, um, and, yeah, good to see you from Houston. Um, what's up, Arnold VIP from North Carolina? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Um, and that, that is a turtle shell, by the way, that came from Fiji back in like 1984 when my father was living there with us. And, um, they ate it, you know, the Fijian tribes, it was like a, a special meal. And, um, and that's, that's a, a turtle they caught. Carlos says, you VIP here, you always say the final sign of 400 is the same for paint metallics. Yes, absolutely. 400 grit is a good grit um, to paint over anything, okay? Any metallic, base coat, solid color, whatever. Um, that's how you do it. Hank Dixon from Florida, VIP member. How can I go by fixing paint chips? Um, well, if you're a VIP definitely check out the vip videos we have a ton of information ton of videos step by step that'll show you multiple ways to fix paint chips so uh like one of the ways is to basically feather them out so if you have uh, a paint chip let me get my da you can feather them out with a da or you can easily so here's a da right
Okay, so with a DA, uh, if you have a paint chip, what can I, how can I illustrate this good for you guys? Okay, let's say, because it's on a laptop like this, a little hard, a little hard to show you, but I guess we could do it like this since this is a marker. Okay, so say we have a, a couple of paint chips on the car. Okay, if you can see it, right? Uh, what you're gonna wanna do is use the tip of your DA and you can just kind of hit it like this with a good angle, you know, a good angle, like one way and then go the other way. You know, make like a T and then flat uh, to basically feather the chips out into the paint. Um, the other thing you could do is just sand the whole thing down. Okay, if you want to just go flat all the way, you could just do that, prime it. The other thing you could do is hit it with a, a rougher paper, maybe like a 320 grit. And then if you if they were if it was painted multiple times or deep chips, you could just put some glaze putty over it, you know, one way and the other way, make sure they fill and then block sand it out. But it depends. It depends on the paint ship. It depends where they are, how much you got. If you have a lot of them across the whole front or the hood of a car, it's best if you just take it down to metal. Um, and then start from, you know, start from uh, scratch primer, you know. Um, but if you have like a couple paint chips and they're super deep, you could al also fill them uh, with spot putty. Um, hey, Tony, what do you think about uh, turbine system sprays like the Maximizer brand? I don't know. I haven't spent a lot of time with that. Maybe just search YouTube and find out. I don't know. Um I, I hear they are good. I hear people use them. And um, it is what it is. You know, I have all my guns are, you know, pneumatic air guns with uh, hooks up to a traditional air compressor, not a turbine system. Um, what's my top five clear coat brands? Um, well, I would say... I really don't have a top five, but I like House of Color for one of the tops. Um, PPG Deltron makes a good clear coat. Um, Sherman Williams makes a good clear coat. Um, DuPont makes some good clears. And some aftermarket brands like Acme Finish is a really good clear coat. Uh, cheap, about 100 bucks or less per, per kit. Not bad at all. As you can see, I've been unboxing um, a lot of my stuff. I still have a lot of paints left over. I got multiple candies. I got more in my container, but we're, we're just organizing. You can see I got like, I'm working on the house a lot, guys. I got cement bags. I got a cement mixer. We're doing a lot of projects around the property <laughs> lately, but I got all my toolboxes set back up, as you can see. So finally, you know, kind of getting there. There's the uh, the mini truck. I got a crack on my bed truck after epoxy 2K filler. Interesting. I don't know, you know, what was under there. I don't know how you cracked it. I don't know what you painted over. I'm not sure if you're asking a question or you're just making a statement. I think you're just making a statement. Um, so what else is new, guys? Hope you're doing well. How's everything going with this whole, you know, pandemic thing on your your side? Um, if you hear a little noise, my neighbor's got a cement truck over. So sorry about that if you kind of hear some noise. But um, how's everybody doing? Some of you guys wanted to see some uh, crypto videos and I put a couple out. Uh, but then people were like, because it's not car related, they're going to unsubscribe. So you know, I don't know if I should just sh keep putting those videos out. I don't care. Like, uh, you know, I'm just making what you guys, some of you guys want to see, I guess. So let me know. It doesn't matter if I put them out or not. I don't care. But if you guys want to see that, if you guys seen that video, I know it's totally off topic. Some people subscribe, just want to see paint stuff. I get it. Everything sucks because of Brandon, that piece of crap. Sorry, but I had to say it. Are you talking about your state, Arnold? Do you know how sickens work? 
Um, I haven't painted with that brand in a long, long time. So I don't know the, you know, what's working today with that brand. But what do you mean? Do I know how it works? Oh. Got it. Okay, let's see. Are we live? I think somebody is on the wrong live stream here. Let me send... Uh, let me see. Man, I think people are on. It seems like people are on the other live stream. Are you guys? Hold on a second. Um. Seems like people are on the other live stream. Let's see something. Hold on one second. Guys, just pump in your questions for auto body. Let me know. Um, yeah, people are on the wrong live stream. Maybe we sent the wrong link out. Link out. I got to send these guys the correct link. Hold on one second. I think my girl sent out the wrong link. So we'll get more people coming on to the other channel in just a bit. Um, she sent out the link for October 18th. But that's, I wonder why. Most people, most of you guys are on this, this one here. Yeah, definitely check out the Adam Guns. Um, the X27 or X28 is a very good gun. Um, and keep in mind, they come with two tip sizes as far as the X88 goes. And you get the uh, the Gun Bud Ultra Lighting System. Check that link out. Um, those are the only guns I use to spray all of my projects. And they spray really, really nice. Um, Tony, what causes... What is a first good, what is a good, hold on a second. Okay, let me, um, hold on, hold on one second, guys. Getting kind of, getting kind of. Sorry, guys. I just I wasn't prepared. I just had to jump on this live stream. Um, I was in the middle of like unloading a car for my family, but just had to jump on here anyway. Um, let's see something here. Let's go back to comments. Somebody says, what is a good first D.A. Sander? And I think the first D.A. Sander is one you can afford. You know, you might be only able to, to get a 40, 30 dollar one at Harbor Freight, but they work. I mean, they start to make a little noise or vibrate differently after a while, but for the most part, they last. I'm, I'm using one from Kovacs. Um, they hooked me up. It's a good little low pro DAs. I like the low pro DAs, uh, but then you can also go old school and get the, the longer, you know, DA with the, with the trigger on the bottom. I used to have one like that. I don't know. I think all of mine are, are palm, palm DAs, low pro palm DAs, which are really good. Let me see. Got another one here from Advantage. Okay, this I have a inner surface pad, which is this piece right here. Okay, um, good for uh, basically getting into areas, rounded hoods and things like that. When you have the foam pad, um, you get more flex and you can sand, you know, in different crevices and whatnot. Um, I have another straight low pro sander. This is good for doing like little little body work spots 
Okay, it's a super flat pad on here um, and it's good for just getting flat work done. Um, and then if you wanna get into a little bit more hardcore body work, you got the straight sander and I'm running this Hutchins. Been running it uh, since I was 17 or 18 years old, I bought this thing. I might've even engraved my name on it. Oh, I have my name on it, but uh, 10 6, 2003 is when I bought it. 10 6, 2003 has the date on it. So that's how long, and it still works. It still works. Works perfectly. Hardcore. I think I paid $260 for this thing back then. It was a uh, heavy-duty model. Expensive. Um, Tony, what causes paint to peel off? It, it's, again... A question like that, it really, I don't know if it was original paint or custom paint job or a, a bumper, you know, what causes, many things can cause paint to peel off. Is that a, is this a new paint job you're talking about that you just finished or is it original paint from 1995? You know, it's, it's tough for me to answer that question unless you give me a little bit more detail. Hey, Florida Custom Fab, Russ. Thank you, Russ. I don't know why. I think I think my girls sent. I think my girls sent out the the link in the email. She sent out the wrong link. It happens once in a while. Um, so thank you, Russ, for doing that. Actually, I will grab. I will grab the link again and and actually post this link over there, because I, I saw that I was getting comments. Um, and Mr. J Demio, I know you're, you're probably, are you on? Um, I will get to your question, um, on that other YouTube video. Can you, let me see. Yes. New paint job. Jesus, it might be better if you sent me a video or a picture of, of what your work. It's hard for me to answer a question. You know, how got my paints peeling? You know, you need to tell me what you did. Um, to, you know, the whole process, A to Z, how did you, how did you prep what kind of paint you're using? Where is it chipping? Did you hit something in the chipped or is it just chipping just because? Do I do a lot of paint correction? Um, I used to do a lot. I haven't done it recently, but when you mean paint correction, you mean detailing, right? And buffing, color matching and buffing. Basically detailing i used to do a lot of it when i was younger but i haven't really got into cars where they need a lot of work <coughs> so yeah cool guys so if any of you guys on here want to send in a detailed question for auto body please just email it over to tony at learn auto body and paint.com i'll just put it in right here tony at Learn auto body and the paint.com. Um, send me some images or a 30 second or a one minute video because the more you can give me, and I say this every time I'm asking for questions, the more you can tell me what's going on with your project, with video, with images, the more I can come to a reasoning and an answer for you. You know, it's hard. You know, some people ask these broad general questions like why well, you know why is my paint not sticking <laughs> it's you should it should be like tony i did this 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 and i'm getting this result how come or how can i fix it finish with 500 that should be good 500 is okay um 500 i like 400 because as you're using it over time um, it turns into a five or 600, you know what I mean? <clears throat> which is, which is where you want to be. Um, wet sanding. And if you do, yeah. So Arnold's saying he uses 800 wet sand and clear. So the basically 800 is a good grit to flow coat over. So if you have a paint job, that's complete, it looks good. Um, you want to add more clear to it or you want to add a pearl coat 
or you want to add some mini flake, you know, after the job is done, then you can definitely sand it with 800 grit spray graphics. You could put base, you could put another layer of base, you know? Um, and then, so that's what I think we're also going to be doing with some of my older projects. And why is the internet? Are we here back? Are we here guys? Okay. So we're in my house. Here is a tank project that I painted in Texas. It's purple candy. If I take it out, take this thing outside, you'll be able to see it um, a lot better. But what I want to do with this thing now is basically wash it down with 800 grit. Maybe I'll take the shadow off. I think the shadow is corny. Maybe we could change it up to something or not even put an emblem on it. I just got this off of eBay and I wanted to replicate a Honda shadow tank. But this can easily be pinstriped now because we did the color split. Okay, this could be pinstriped, right? Or I could, we could pinstripe it and we can add other graphics and details to this thing. Is she right? She's okay. She's okay. God. She just had some water. Oh my God. My daughter's tepper on her back. She's okay. She's There's Allie. Thank you, Arnold. Arnold, thank you. So there's another one in my bus that I want to do. I gave one away um, while I was in Texas. I have one. I have three of them, guys. Um, I'll actually go get Maya's one right now and show you guys. Uh, any questions, guys? Any questions? Just let me know. Um, I'll be right back. So this is also a lamp. This is also a, a lamp that I made for my daughter. It has the cap goes in it and then a scissor lamp connects to it. Um, but if you take a look, it's a giant heart. And then on the side, it's a flame. So it's like a flaming heart which I thought was pretty cool. You know, this is what the front looks like. So this is actually in VIP as well, guys. If you want to learn how to do this, and I basically pinstriped it with vinyl pinstripe, and then I clear coated over it. So this is not a paint, but if I wanted to, what you could do, you could always add on top of a paint job, especially if it's something um, custom. You can always add on top of a paint job. So if I wanted to, I could easily wet sand this with 800 grit. Okay. Uh, I can get an airbrush. I can, you know, do some dazzling and change, you know, some custom work to it and then re-clear it. So that's cool. And I think I might do that, you know, just play around with it and do something cool. Add another color to it, you know, make it more deeper, you know, maybe add some pink into this thing would look cool. You know, like a, you know, what if we added like a pink inside? Like a, I don't know, just an idea. <clears throat> so I just want to share this with you guys too. Um, and then I have another one in the bus. So Jay says, hold on. Jay says, I'm the guy with the video question about the trailer. I replied twice in the comments, but they keep disappearing. Strange thing is YouTube states there are seven comments, but I but only four are showing. That's very odd. I actually haven't looked at that video yet, so I haven't even seen the questions under that video. So after, you know, once the stream is, is done, I'll go check it out and I'll see what I'll – I'll let you know what I see on my end and I'll reply to your question. All right. I got no idea why um, they disappear like that. I don't know. You know, maybe they're having a glitch. Facebook had a glitch the other day. You know, who knows? Maybe YouTube's having a glitch. What was that mushroom? Who made it? You? Oh, wow. She made a mushroom. Gordon Ramsay mushroom? Mm -hmm. mm. Salty. Too salty. I, oh my God. 
That's, you say that with everything. God, that's way too salty for I me. Didn't... Okay. I mean, it's good, but a little too. Okay, 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 all right. My daughter just likes salty stuff not. so much. No. Painting a older car, 91. Should you go bare metal or sand it down real good and hit that like button? Um, It's up to you. It's up to you. If you want to do it right, mm -hmm. get it down to bare metal then do it. You know, if it's, if it's a job that, if it's a job that, uh, you want to just bang out quick, you know, and sell it. I don't know what your end, you know, end intentions are, but, uh, you could just, just hit it prime on top of it and paint on top of it. It depends. You know, if it's a sentimental build, then you, you know, you can consider go doing it the right way. So yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So uh, what else is new, dudes? What else is new? Any other auto body questions, guys? Any other auto body questions you got? Um, let me know. Let me know. Um, if not, I'm going to just post a link to all you newbies. How many first timers watching first timers tuning in, never been on before. Um, if you guys want to learn auto body, I got some free training for you guys at learn auto body paint.com. Uh, just go to that site right here and uh, enter your email to get some free training. We got videos that will email you um, on specific topics and also a, a uh, really in-depth auto body manual that you can download with images and links to certain things. So if you want to learn how to properly color sand and buff, there's going to be a link in the PDF manual That'll take you over to one of my popular YouTube videos that basically show you the step-by-step -step process on that. You know, there's a ton of those, literally hundreds of videos and links and images like all over in that guide. So that guide will help you just go here to learn auto body and paint.com. If you're watching this replay video, click the top right here uh, of YouTube, click on one of those little card things. You'll get over to the site, put your name in. And then if you're interested, you might want to join VIP. Um, like the rest of us. So, uh, so yeah, if not, no big deal. Um, any other auto body questions before we close it out today? Um, I did release a video. I'm actually going to be releasing another video within the next day or two, uh, a shortened version of candy, candy, uh, painting rims. Um, and then we're going to kind of go through the project of the ground project and release different parts of that. Um, and then we're going to be getting into our, uh, our BMW. So we finally settled the insurance company. It should be getting paid soon. I didn't order any parts yet, but the BMW project's going to have to be done because I'm thinking of selling it once I repaint it. I don't need it. You know, I got other vehicles here, so probably going to be getting rid of the BMW i3 after we completely paint it, which means I'm probably not going to be doing a complete custom color change on it because of resale. Uh, but the other plus is you guys get to see color blending and matching because we're painting the hood, uh, the front bumper cover and blending it into the front fenders. So you guys are going to be able to see how to do like a successful blend. And then the back bumper, I might actually paint as well. There's a lot of chips in the black paint, um, as well as the orange paint. So we're going to do like, a a, a full on repair job, you know, original color, original everything. And, um, we're going to show you that process on the BMW, you know, um, before I told you we we're going to custom paint it, custom candy and all that, but we're, I'm deciding to sell it once it's fixed, uh, because we're, I don't need it. 
So either way, you guys are going to get good content out of it. Either way. Um, the van's still going to be customized and uh, the other projects we have coming as well. And the good thing is it doesn't matter that it's winter because we can still keep cranking all year long here uh, in Hawaii. And um, hey, Arnold and Russ, thank you for the support, man. You guys are awesome. Seriously, you guys are awesome, man. Thank you, guys. Hope you guys are doing well on your end. Um, <laughs> I'm doing well, you know. I'm doing well. Um, I'm actually been playing with a lot of crypto stuff, and I'm doing very well with uh, with trading and, and my investments, uh, which is a good thing, you know. I mean, it, it, so... I'm blessed for that. Um, and, and we're just building farm here. You know, we're building, I want to put in a, a fish pond soon and uh, all kinds of things, all kinds of things. <clears throat> anyway, here's that link again. And if any of you guys on uh, want to check out and get some cool spray guns, check out Zula.com, um, Z-O-O-L-A-A.com. I'm going to put the link um, right over here so you guys got it. And um, keep it, keep your eyes open for the next video. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep pumping crypto videos on my channel. I might, I might for the hell of it, you know, randomly every once in a while. So just check those out if you, if you want. Um, but yeah, any last minute questions? Last minute, one last question we can do before we head out. Um, thanks guys for tuning in. Really, really appreciate it. Any last minute questions of auto body before we pull out? Let me know. Here to support you, here to help you. No, we good? Okay, guys. So if we're good, just smash that like button. Um, and I will see you next week, Monday. Sorry for not making it last week. I just scheduling conflict. I had uh, something I was doing and I just, I wasn't home. I couldn't, I couldn't make it. Finally got the comments to stick on the video. I think it's because there was a link in my comments. I took it out and the comment invisible now. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. I think YouTube automatically suspends uh, for spam purposes, you know, links, if you're putting links in videos and all that, unless you're a moderator, I think. But uh, interesting to know. Interesting to know. Not that I, I never really put links in people's, I hardly even comment. I usually just watch video. I very rarely comment on YouTube videos. Um, I do like them if I like them. Um, but when I do comment, it means I really like the video, you know. Um, and I, I get I usually get a lot of replies on my comments when I when I comment. Um anyway. What's up, Gavin? Long time no see. Tony David asked one. Where's David? David. Okay. David says, I got a fiberglass hood uh, and a piece chipped off in front, in the front end. How could I replace it? Uh, so basically you can look up something called fiber light. Okay. It's a fiberglass rep repair bondo. Good stuff. Um, or something called kitty hair. Okay. Comes in a can. Do I have any? No, I used it on that last project. I don't have any fiber light, but I will get some um, once we start getting on the next project here. But, um, I mean, you could use regular fiberglass and resin, but it's just such a pain in the butt to work with. I would get some fiber light. Um, you mix it up like body filler, you grind your area, make sure you use like an 80 grit or a hundred grit, you know, course around your fiberglass crack or whatever. And then you can fill it up with this fiber light and shape it with a DA. Okay. And priming is the same process. You could put a 2k filler primer on top of it. Uh, you could put a glaze putty on top of that block sand it out make sure it's good prime it again block sand that out and be ready for paint or sealer uh, depending on how you want to do it all right hopefully that helps how can you judge the amount of paint to use on a vehicle um actually i have a whole guide on that angelo if you go to learn auto body and paint.com um it's a it's a it's a guide and i share share with you how much paint you need to paint a full-size truck how much paint you need to paint a car um, if you were to do a single stage, here's how much paint you need. If you're doing a basic clear coat, this is how much paint you need. If you're doing just a fender only or half of a car, this is how much paint you need. This is how much it could potentially cost. Uh, so definitely go to learnautobodyandpaint.com. We have tons of content there um, and more coming on the way. More coming on the way, guys. 
um, just been busy living life, you know. Um, some people are too busy earning an income to, to live life. And, uh, you know, it's, it's unfortunate, but a lot of people are stuck in the rat race. I'm blessed. I'm happy that I can do what I want when I want and, and give back as well to people like you and, and everybody else. So, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I see the Chevelle is doing great. Uh, the Chevelle is doing very, very good. Um, very good. Uh, as far as what gauge steel, I think 18, 18 is a common gauge uh, that you want to work with, um, for auto body and, and things like that. And you might want to consider stainless steel sheet metal, uh, because it will never rust and you could weld it directly onto your vehicle. All right. Awake for 26 hours doing what? Kind of like me. Crazy. Um, yeah, the Chevelle's doing great. I haven't, I actually haven't driven around in a while. I got to get, I got to renew my insurance on it um, and also fix my transmission leak. I have a little leak coming out where the transmission fluid dipstick goes in. I think I just didn't properly seal it or get it set up from when I installed it. And it's been leaking since day one. You know, I got to go back and put some time in it and, and change that out. But uh, other than that, the car is amazing. I love it. I got to take it out. All right, guys. I just want to say thank you for tuning in. Here's that last link to learn auto body and paint.com. Um, and also here's that link to Zula.com where you can check out uh, the sexy Atom X spray guns um, for all of your DIY and professional painting. Um, highly recommend the X27 and 88 for professional painting. And if you're more of a DIYer, you want to save on money, you know, get on a budget, check out the X20 uh, for a little over 200 bucks, 219, give or take. You can get a, a brand new X20 with a gun butt ultra lighting system that lights up your projects, um, and, which is a deal, super deal. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. I will see you next week. Peace and aloha from Hawaii. Look at these guys. What's up, Na? Give me Paul. No, how's your nose? You hurt your nose. She hurt her nose. Peace out. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. See you guys next week. And uh, stay tuned for the next videos. Cheers. Um, again, for all you guys just tuning in right now, um, if you have a specific question, send an email to Tony at learnautobodyandpaint.com. Tony at learnautobodyandpaint.com with as many photos, one minute video of your question, your, your issue, your problem. Send it over to me. I will literally make a video reply like I did uh, to Mr. J Demio on the call here and try to help you out as best as I can from what you give me. Okay. There's only so much I could do. Um, but I will do my best to help you by looking at your pictures and, um, and video. All right. Have a good day. Thank you, Arnold. Thank you for that. What's up, Dan Lewis. See ya. Gavin. See ya. Peace out. Thank you. See you next week. Cheers.